guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Cassidy, and this is my first ever makeup tutorial. I have a video up called the sister tag that I did years ago with my best friend and my sister, and that is still up if you guys want to go check it out. It's kind of embarrassing for me to watch, but it is still up. I've always wanted to do makeup tutorials, but I just never had the time to sit down and do one because I was in high school and now I've graduated and so I really want to take the time to make YouTube videos now and not just on makeup, I want to do a bunch of different things too. And so I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial, but I wore this makeup to graduation and everybody was asking how I did it and everyone was telling me that they really liked it, so I said, why not that be my first YouTube video? So, I hope you guys like it. And if you want to learn how to do it, just keep watching. By the way, I'm really sorry about my voice. I've had really bad allergies lately. And I literally have not been able to talk for like three days now. And my voice is finally coming back. But I cannot wait to do this video. So, I hope that you guys can ignore my raspiness and enjoy. So to start this look off, I'm going to be just applying the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm just going to be using a tiny bit and putting this all over. I like to apply it all over my face. After I've applied my primer, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Colorstay um, Makeup Foundation. And this is in the color... 240 and this is probably going to be a little bit light for me but I'm just going to apply one pump with a damp beauty blender next I'm going in with my NYX HD Studio Concealer, and this is in the color CW01. And then I'm going to go in and just blend it in with my beauty blender. So once all of my foundation and my concealer is put on, I'm going to go ahead and put on some pressed powder. I honestly don't know where this pressed powder is from. It's from a salon or spa um, but by my house, so if I can find out what it is, I'll let you know. But I'm just going to take this Real Techniques powder brush and push that all in. And then I always like to kind of like set it, but I don't have any good setting powder. So I'm just using this one from e.l.f. I'm also going to put this down my T-zone. I'm going to be going in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And I'm just going to apply this with my Equal Tools brush. Next, going in with another Equal Tools. It's just this like little flat brush I guess you can call it and I'm be using like the edges of it to contour my nose I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of blend it out After that, I'm going in with my blush. This is the same um, company that does my pressed powder. So again, 
I'll have to find out what it is called because I've had this for so long. So I'll let you guys know. I like to put my blush not like right here on the center of my cheeks. I like to go up on my cheekbone a little bit more. And then I break down my nose. Now it's time to move on to my eyes, which this is the whole point of this tutorial. So to start off with the eyes, I'm going to be starting with my eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using the Tartlet palette. And I'm going to go in with the color Super Mom, and I'm going to put this as my base. Next, I'm going in with Caregiver. And this is going to be um, our crease color. Because we are using glitter for um, the lid part, I want to make sure that I'm not going to rub off any glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the crease first. So it's just this really pretty pink color. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it, but it's super just light. So it's really going to help give some dimension to the eyes when I put the sparkles on. So now it's time for the fun part, which is the glitter eyeshadow. And this is in this is um by Ulta. And it's in the color glitz. And it's just like this shimmery. Eyeshadow, it ha comes in like these like little rock type forms. They're called foil rocks. So I'm going to be using, where is it? <clears throat> Just a flat brush to get this. So happy that the camera is picking up how like sparkly this is. So in the container, it almost looks like a like a reddish color. Not a reddish. It looks kind of like a um like a brownish orangey color, but it comes off comes out onto the eye as more of like a peachy like white color it's kind of cool I'm going to take some of that glitter some of the glitter eyeshadow and put it on in the inner corners of my eyes <laughs> Next I'm going to be going in with this um white liner. I'm going to be putting this on the inner corners of my waterline and bringing it about halfway out. This is just really going to brighten up the eye. And next with a brown. This is by Maybelline with a brown eye pencil. I'm going to be going in on the outsides. So I just met the brown with the white. And last is going to be this Maybelline. Um, it's just a liquid liner. I'm going to be putting this on the top part of my eye. I'm just going in and doing a very thin line.
Now to complete this look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my lashes. I am going to be wearing falsies and I'm not going to be putting them on camera, otherwise we will be here forever. I'm going to be putting on the Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast, um, which is by CoverGirl. It's a two-in-one, and I'm just going to be putting this on to blend out my real lashes into the fake lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my fake lashes on and I'll be back. So my lashes ended up going on a lot smoother than I thought they were going to so I'm really happy about that. So next I'm going to be doing my brows. I think I have pretty nice shaped brows as they already are but I like to just go in and comb them in with like a little spoolie brush. So I'm going to be taking this brow palette and I'm going to just take this thingy. And rub it in and then just comb through them I'm gonna take um my NYX concealer again and I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my eyebrows to clean up any powder that might have stuck itself to my skin. I'm also going to do the same under here, but not with con not with concealer. I'm going to be taking the Free Spirit eyeshadow from my Tarte palette, and I'm just going to take a flat shaded brush and go in and clean it up. Next is time for highlighter. I'm taking this Benefit Sunbeam and it's in this like pretty little gold color. And this is in a it's in a liquid form. So I just like to take that and bring it down my nose. And then I'm gonna take it and just put it on my cheeks. I use my beauty blender for everything. It just blends everything in so nicely. Now it's time for my favorite part, which are the lips. I'm going to be using two different lipsticks today. I'm going to be using this one by Revlon, and it's in this really pretty, like, pink color. And it's in the color 006 Pink Blush. And then I'm going to be using this Too Faced um, Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Queen Bee. I'll be lining my lips with this um, lip liner by Revlon as well, and this is in the color six, uh, 063, so it just is a good color, pink color, and I find that it goes with like all of my lipsticks. Little tip, if you line your lips, go in and fill in your whole lips after with the same color because it just helps blend everything out a lot nicer and it also helps make your lipstick stay. So I'm going in with the Revlon pink lipstick now.
and it's just a slight bright hot pink color. I think I kind of want to just leave it like this. Do I? Yep, we're going to leave it. I almost forgot the most important part, and that is to spray your face after you are done so that it can stay all night. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Matte Finish Spray. And I'm just putting that all over my face. And this really does give a nice matte finish to your face, and it stays all night. Uh, again, like I said, I wore this makeup to graduation, and we go right to project graduation after that. So I had this makeup on for 24 hours, but it stayed. So it's all because of this. So make sure you are setting your face. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Bye!